We're here with Donna Burns and Ollie. Ollie is one of our Grateful Rescue Therapy dogs, and he's here to do some tricks for us. But first, Donna, tell me how you got Ollie started in the trick. I have had Ollie since he's 16 weeks old as a puppy. So the first thing I did was to teach him sit, like the first day. Of course, he didn't know how to stay that day, but just the general idea of sitting and staying. Um, and after about six months when he was pretty good with the sitting and laying down stuff, I just picked up a book um, and read about tricks. He could already do like a wave and a high five and stuff, but I wanted to add more tricks to his. Mm -hmm. And we just started adding. So sometimes he gives me a behavior like with the hoop when he jumps it. I laid it down and he went over and he picked it up and he started spinning circles. So that was a free trick. So sometimes he makes up his own tricks. <laughs> he makes up his own tricks and sometimes he makes up his own rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a trait of, a trait of the schnauzer, isn't it? <laughs> it is. They can be very sassy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ollie, what tricks do you have for us today? All right, buddy, come here. Let's start. Let's get you warmed up. Come here. All right, ready? Okay, sit down. Let's wave hi to everybody. Can you wave hi? Sit down. Wave hi. Yes. Good job. Shake. Good job. How about high five? Good job. Would you like to pick a treat? Oh, that's a very good job. Of course you're going to get that one, right? Sit down. And sit pretty. Hold it. Oh. <laughs> good job. Stand tall. Walk. Okay. Stand tall. Walk. 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 Yes. Now come here. Come on. Down. Down. And roll over, roll over, roll over, and down. Stick him up. Bang, bang, play that. Bang, 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 bang. Hold it and straighten. <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> okay, can you nudge the ball to Pam? Head nudge. Oh, yay! Yay! Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Good kisses. boy. Hey. Okay. Yeah. All right, come here. Come here. No, no, no. Come back here. Stop. Come back over here. <laughs> Come here. Don't wander off. Come here. Come here. Say, Daddy. All right. Let's try it. One, two, three. Big jump. Go. Go. You got it. Go. Yes. All right. Big jump. Big jump. And from 99 <laughs> all the way over. Oh, I love it. Head down. Head down. And cover. Cover. Good. Cover. All right. Can you unroll? Unroll. Go, 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 go. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Up in. Dunk it. Dunk it. Yay. Yay. Very impressive tricks, Ollie. Good job. So Ollie is also one of our Wag the Dog Readers dogs, and you are the head of our program. And let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. Um, we recently went to um, Urban Act Academy where we um, the children read with dogs. So tell us about that. What was that experience like? Okay, sure. Um, we had a very nice day. Um, we read, Ollie uh, had children reading to him. They picked out the books and they came and they sat on the bleachers and he would sit there and they would read to him and the children were real positive about wanting to read to the dog. In fact, they wanted him, they wanted to pat him before they read, but I said, let's read, and then we can pet the dog. Um, they were very positive and optimistic. Even some of the first graders and kindergartners who really weren't ready to read yet wanted to just sit there and look at the pictures. Um, and then I helped them with a few words and they, mm -hmm. we did like a page and then that, you know, we switched to somebody else. But it was a very positive experience. And I think the term grateful means a lot because mm -hmm. all the children there seem to be very grateful. Oh, it was so. a special day, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, we thank you for doing that for us. We also go to other schools. We do, we do um, West L via Zoom and yes. in person and we ha we're still developing that program. And if you'd like to read more about the Wag the Dog Readers Club, just go to gratefulrescue.org.
we're back at Grateful Rescue TV, and I'm joined with Patty Spittler, oh. my dear Patty Spittler. And we're talking about puppy overpopulation. Oh, yes. It's a big problem. It is. And these are some of, this is two of the 17 puppies that you recently rescued, That's right? That's right. Whoa. We, yep, we've got a big herd. We've got some Anatolian Pyrenees. So they're going to be big. They're yep. going to be big, over 100 pounds. Oh, my goodness. And we have some pit bull puppies. This is Petunia and Banyan. Petunia. And uh, I call them my spring 17. We've got 17 puppies of two litters. Oh. And um, <laughs> but the, <laughs> the, the population is out of control. Oh, all the I shelters know. are overflowing. All the rescues are overflowing. And um, one thing that we're going to do to try to prevent these guys from growing up and getting returned yes. is early training. Early training. Um, Anatolian Shepherd, they, these are kind of guard, like farm dogs? They're right? livestock guardians. Okay. Livestock guardians. Um, they're a perfect combination. Great family dog, um, great livestock and family protector. Good with kids, good with other dogs, good with yeah. cats. They're good dogs as long as they're trained correctly. And have a job. And have a job to because do. Because they're not just going to sit on the sofa with you. That's right. They're going to lick you. And she can't hold her liquor. You yeah, see her? And, this, oh. and this this little liquor is uh, Petunia, and she's a pit bull puppy, and they, they also can grow uh, big and unruly right. if not trained early. Yeah. So um, thanks to uh, advanced canine techniques, we're going to be holding a training session okay. for the puppies. We've had volunteers stand up and um, and handle these puppies, committed for six weeks for their first set of yeah. puppy classes. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And probably one should continue training when you get them. Oh, absolutely. And you, absolutely. you make sure that it's the right fit, too. That They don't just oh, come yeah. in and take the dogs. They you have know. to have the perfect fit for the dog's yeah. lifestyle. And yes, train. this is just getting them started correctly so they'll be good citizens. <laughs> oh, you're you're going to need some help. Yes, you are. Uh, yes. You're going to need some training on manners. But again, they're just puppies. How old are they? Ten they're weeks? only 10 weeks old. 10 weeks old. 10 okay. weeks old. Um, they're still in their vaccination stage. They've had one set and we're working on the second. Okay. Okay. And then they can probably start thinking about <laughs> homes and training. Well, they are adorable. So, you do such wonderful um, things. I admire you so much. I mean, some people say, oh, I want to help. I want to help. She actually does. You do. How many? Over 400 do you put Oh, we've, we've definitely over 400 Cats, adoptions. dogs Very in adoption. Isn't that amazing? We, thank you uh, so much. People get a hold you. of you at GratefulRescue.org, right? GratefulRescue.org. And thank you for oh, being on with us. Thank you. We thank love you. you, Patty. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to go away now. We're going to take a pause. <laughs> okay. Take okay. a pause. <laughs> thank you. Andrew, will you read me a story? Oh, yeah. Let's watch Faith's Book Nook. Grateful Rescue presents Faith's Book Nook. Watch dozens of storytelling videos right now at GratefulRescue.org. When we arrived on the scene, I would run towards the fire, barking at the men to hurry up with their hoses of water. I can watch her as a bedtime story. Or anytime I want to learn about animals. Thank you for joining us tonight for tonight's book reading, and thank you for supporting Grateful Rescue. I'll lend you my daddy. I'm sure you'll agree. Now that he's home, he belongs just to me. Celebrities and pet lovers of all ages read their favorite books about animals. This is first dog Henry Holcomb, and we have a story for you. Apparently, it smells good. Story time is anytime at Facebook Nook. Watch Book Nook anytime on your laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Faith's Book Nook, right now at gratefulrescue.org. Uh, also, we want to take a look. Whoops, he's down. Uh, what else are we going to take a look at today? We're going to take a look at our first puppy mill. Adoption day. And several and, years ago. Yep, it was it was a few years ago and we had you over to meet all the dogs and all their new owners. What a delightful day that was. And they all got And it. tears. And oh yes, and tears too. Laughter and tears. Wonderful. Let you know that Pamela makes sure that the adoption is well. You don't just come in and adopt a dog or a cat. You have to go through a process. There's a process and the uh, and an adopter has to be the perfect fit for that dog. Okay. They may be a perfect fit for a different dog or that dog. It all depends on the dog and what their needs are. I agree with what she says. Yeah. Let's take a look at one of our first adoptions with Pamela Trahune and the Grateful Rescue. Oh, Velvet is a, a poodle that we got from the, the puppy mill and she's very sweet, very calm. She's, she's the calm one of the two. <laughs> this is Leela and Leela only has one eye. 
a very lovable dog. She's always got her tail wagging and she loves life. It's actually quite overwhelming because when I think about what was going to happen to them with, without somebody coming and taking them, if the angels, I call them angels, wouldn't have went and, and grabbed them and asked me to take them, they wouldn't be here today. So it really means the world to have these dogs here. Uh, this is Elle. She's a little chihuahua, uh, around seven years old. Very, very loving, just loves to be sitting on laps. Uh, they never knew what grass was. They never knew what love was. So for them to, to uh, you know, to love us and, and accept us and let us hold them, that's really big for them because they've never had that in their whole life. This is Zoe. She's a little timid little girl, but um, Zoe's five years old. But she's coming out of it. She was really timid when we first got her, but she's starting to let people touch her and everything. When Great Pro Rescue took them on, you know, Pam knew that they were going to all have to have shots. They were all going to have to be spayed. Um, most of them need dentals because they've never had any type of dental work. This is Sugar. She's a Maltese. Um, she's the shyest of all of them. She uh, is finally starting to come out of her shell. This is Pepper. Pepper's a miniature poodle. And she is the most vocal of the group. This is Pixie. Uh, she's a Yorkie. She's found her voice. Um, uh, that's one thing with a lot of these dogs, they were never allowed to bark. Um, yeah, so they were forced to learn not to bark. So uh, slowly, some of these are starting to learn that they can actually bark and not get in trouble. This is Willow. This is one of our Pomeranian mamas. The second we saw her, she was wagging her tail and everything. Usually it takes weeks for them to start wagging their tails. Kathy, Sherry, and, and Debbie, I just want to thank you all for, for getting these dogs and bringing them to Grateful Rescue. You saved their life. And here we are at the Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary with Pamela Terhune. Of course, you know that she is the brains and the heart behind this particular place. And all of your vision is coming true. And this is a very exciting day. What's going on today? Well, as you've been um, covering, we've got a puppy mill rescue here. <laughs> and all the puppy mill victims are going home to start a whole new life. Oh. They've come from pure darkness in a barn and afraid of the human touch to this. Look at this. Look at this. Every and one of them are so happy. <laughs> and they have not been loved before or taken care of or cleaned or washed or even had their feet or even been held. And look at them now. I know. Isn't it amazing? This is what love and care can do. Yes, yes. They're all so happy with their new owners. And, and as you can tell, I think the new owners are pretty smitten with them as well. <laughs> I think we're all going to cry a little bit here. Okay. okay, I'm going to talk to some of the adopters on this very special day. And this is Belinda. Yes. What's your last name? Nelson. Belinda Nelson. And this is the new Nelson. Her name is Willow. And I am welcoming her to my family, <laughs> to my pack. Oh. <laughs> They're going to get along fine. They'll have their beds in every room and their treats, I'm going to spoil her. <laughs> I, I think Belinda should adopt me. I think that's... Yeah, she is a little shy yet. <laughs> Do you have other dogs at home? No, it'll be just me and Sugar. I'm a widow and I need Sugar and Sugar needs me. <laughs> Since we just recently became empty nesters, it, we've, there was a space in the heart that we now are going to fill with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and you're excited about this too? Yeah, I've never had a dog. Ever, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is Elle, and my name is Renee Dawson, and I saw her on Facebook and fell in love. And everybody says she's just like the sweetest little thing, and I just can't let her down. I'm going to spoil her to death. <laughs> and you've just added to your family. We, we did. Yes, we're so excited. We um, saw him on Facebook, and I begged my husband, please, can I get this puppy? <laughs> you knew he was a puppy mill puppy, too, and I what did. he'd been through? Yes, ma'am. 
I know. <laughs> I know. I know. But he's good now. We're going to take good care of him, right, guys? Yes. 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 And now we're here with the three ladies who actually went to the Amish puppy mill and rescued these dogs. Just hit us that they lived their whole life in a pitch dark, cold barn, no electricity. Um, so this little girl wouldn't breathe, so they didn't want to keep her. The look that they give us once we get them to a safe place is well worth everything. I mean, just like this, this tears me up because I know they're gonna have really good homes. And that's what I want. She was actually the nicest one of the whole group oh. when we first got her. And I said then, if she doesn't get a home, she was coming home with me. And somebody recently had a birthday. Miss oh. Patty celebrated 69, oh. feeling fine at 69. How is, many is that in puppy years? Don't know what's something. <laughs> <laughs> let it go, let it go. Thank you for coming. It was a wonderful party. Uh, we also mentioned and, and helped to promote the Grateful Rescue. Uh, so all in all, it was a good time, a fun time. And thank you to the Skyline Club, too. Jeff Markowitz Absolutely. is wonderful. Yes. yes, that was a great night. So let's take a look. celebrate Patty's 69th birthday. Um, I'm just thrilled to be here and to celebrate her. As you know, she just is such a great advocate for the animals in our community. And she's always making everything about everyone else. And tonight we get to make it all about her. There's no place I'd rather be than to host Patty Spittler and, and to benefit Grateful Rescue. And you know, when I'm having a stressful day and Patty and Pamela walk into the club, it, they just ease all the stress because uh, I tell you what, there's uh, I have a very uh, soft spot in my heart for animals and, and those are probably two of the best animal lovers I've ever met. I meet so many people that said, oh, Patty, oh, she helped me with this and she helped me with that. And I tell you what, she is such a giving person, uh, probably one of the biggest givers I've ever uh, dealt with. So yeah, I am honored to, to have her birthday party here. I owe a lot of my career, my life to Patty and and being here tonight with Grateful Rescue is just amazing. I, I wouldn't have my cat Johnny Storm. I adopted him from Pamela. The mission of, of Grateful Rescue is just so near and dear to me and I have so much to be grateful for tonight. We're, we're celebrating Patty's birthday and celebrating Grateful Rescue and everything that they're doing. I just, I can't imagine not being in this room tonight with all of these special people celebrating Patty's birthday. So every year on Patty's birthday, she has this celebration, she has this get together so that she can reconnect a lot of the people that she sees on a weekly, monthly basis and make sure that we all get together and we don't lose that connection because that's what really keeps so much going on, especially with the animal welfare side of it. You know, we can work with Grateful Rescue Sanctuary, we can work with our Indiana um, Neighborhood Cats, IACS, all the folks that are here that work with animals every day, they're here because of Patty. I'm here to celebrate Patty Spittler's birthday and to support Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary. Grateful Rescue is very unique uh, and it serves the entire state of Indiana and it serves not just the animals but people and what their uh, needs would be and what an animal can do to make a change in their life or a difference in their life. Pamela is just trying to make a difference and she has doesn't have to do this and I just so admire her heart. So I'm a big advocate for Grateful Rescue. Thank you for inviting me. Sorry I've got to run. But happy birthday to our dear beloved friend, Patty Smith.
We're joined today by Sharon Sharkett and Sherry Wolf from Action for Animals. Welcome ladies, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Tell me about Action for Animals. How did it get started? Action for Animals started quite a while ago. Um, it was kind of a grassroots beginning in 1979. But by 1981, they chartered as a nonprofit in Muncie, Indiana, and their mission is to help with animals in Delaware County and Muncie, Indiana. Mm -hmm. So it was people who really needed to find um, a way to get their cats spay neutered mm -hmm. owners and as well to take care of the roaming and stray cat population through trap, neuter, and return. We rescue cats from the streets, basically, of Muncie and in Delaware County. And we foster them lovingly to adoption. Mm -hmm. And we take care of all their medical needs, spay, neuter them, give them all their vaccinations, do whatever is needed to really make that cat be healthy for a lifetime, and find them a forever home through mm -hmm. our adoption center at PetSmart in Muncie. Oh, so you're the one. So we make a lot of families happy with little kitties. Oh, that. I love that. The main thing we need are um, volunteers and mm -hmm. donations. We, we could really use the donations and we can get those donations through our website mm -hmm. and through um, Facebook on our Facebook page, but um, in order to continue to help, we have to get money, which you know sure. with your group mm -hmm. the same way. And what is the most challenging things you find running Cat Rescue? Probably one of the most challenging is when we run into hoarding situations. Oh, yeah. Where people have not spay neutered cats that they have, and then they collect more cats. And I, I think they do it out of the goodness of their heart that they really want to help the animals, but they become overwhelmed. Sure. And mm -hmm. at some point they need help. And that, so that's very difficult because we all, all of the rescues have to uh, kind of join together and help when somebody finds themselves overwhelmed with yeah. animals. Mm -hmm. The cat population is such a crisis mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. and, and they do, they start, they start repopulating very young. So they can go to Action for Animals, or I'm sorry, afamuncie.org. afamuncie.org. Mm -hmm. They can check out our Facebook page, which is Action for Animals Muncie. And mm -hmm. both of those have ways to respond to us if they'd like to volunteer. Great. We're always looking for fosters. Oh yeah, fosters mm -hmm. Fosters are wonderful. They, they free up other space you, because there's always more coming. Mm -hmm. And I want to personally thank you guys because you've been so good to Grateful Rescue. I remember back when we had the uh, big breeder bunch, you sent a bunch of beds out and tons of food. And just recently you sent us all the uh, fresh pet food, which we appreciated and the dogs really loved it. <laughs> so um, you do great things for the community and, mm -hmm. and for cats that, that need need your help and we thank you from the bottom of our heart. This is definitely Sophia's idea. Yeah. <laughs> we started fostering in the spring of 2020. We heard about uh, Action for Animals. I was expecting, you know, like within a month or something we would have kittens and she was like, okay, um, how's Sunday? <laughs> and, <laughs> And so we like pretty much right away had um, a mom and five like two week old orange tabbies. They were so cute mm -hmm. and their, um, their eyes were just barely maybe opening when, when they arrived. It was really rewarding because it's so fun to just watch them grow so much in such a short time. It was a really good um, antidote to just the whole COVID situation for us, but and just a way of like turning inward and looking at something sweet and watching life grow, regardless of how crazy the world was. Yeah. Um, and I think even as you know, some things have gotten easier in the world, we're still just enjoying having these little uh, relationships with cats. I think something I've enjoyed is. Um, watching each of them get their own little um, temperament, their own little personality. They're, they're different and watching them interact with our two foster fails. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, I'm Lisa. Hi, I'm Cindy. Come join us at Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary as a volunteer. We actually met each other through Greyhound Rescue and that, that's how our whole friendship started. Mm -hmm. And we have just volunteered all the, for the last yes. 20 years yeah. at different things and events over the years and just kind of joined each other. Well, number one is Pam's passion because she's very passionate about this yeah. and we're ready to see it. Pamela makes it, makes everybody feel included. She just can't get rid of this. We keep showing up, yeah, don't we? We keep <laughs> showing up. The animals are coming came about one of the zoning meetings when we knew how critical it was that she needed the support. Volunteers, members, had the shirts made up and were there. Oh, yeah. Remember Christine? They wore them and, to the meeting. Yeah, yeah, to the zoning. And Pam fell in love with the design and that's how it all started. It's just a huge thing for, for Indiana, period, yeah. let alone Muncie. Yeah. This is gonna require a lot of volunteers, so a we're hoping. A lot of volunteers, yeah. yeah. She, she, she follows me around. <laughs> we meet on the corner. Sorry. Now. <laughs> now she, sorry. Get rid of that. <laughs> and that'll wrap it up for today's episode of Grateful Rescue TV. All right, and we invite you to go to the website, find out more about Grateful Rescue, all the things that wonderful Pamela Terhune does, gratefulrescue.org. Uh, thank you again. Let me pet you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll see you next time on Grateful Rescue TV. Hey there, I'm Brian Calvert, and this is my dog Dixie. She's known as Dixie the Praying Dog. Dixie is a five-year-old blue tick coonhound, and uh, she's a therapy dog, and we use her to travel around and, and visit veterans and kids and whoever else might need a little, little pick-me-up, and she's got her own little, little Jeep now that she can ride in that's remote control. And this is a, a coloring book slash book that I had done for us to, to be able to read to the kids and give something we can give to the kids so they can color and, and check out and here we go. So let's, uh, let's go on the wild adventures of Dixie the Praying Dog. Mm -hmm.